So that, that mess, that jumble of clutter, it will never get sorted. I'm convinced of that. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried, but this, my computer, my Lightroom workflow, my images, everything I do um, on a day-to-day -day basis is gonna get sorted in 2024, and you're about to find out exactly how I'm gonna do it. Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Richard. It's good to see everybody again. Um, I think this might be the third week in a row almost, or third week out of four I've done videos, so yay for me. Um, so this video in particular is gonna be about how I get my um, images and my life, so, well, maybe not my life sorted out, but certainly how I get my workflow sorted out, my image structure, my folders, um, everything on the computer that I know that I want to do. For a long, long time, I've had a pretty decent workflow for importing, flagging, picking, rating photos and editing and things like that. But that's kind of where it stopped. I've never done anything for saving JPEGs. I've never done anything for social media. I rarely post on um, Instagram, an image here, an image there. I want to start doing more of that. And I'm starting thinking about in cloud backup and storage and stuff like that. So I figured that if I'm in a mess with things like this, if I haven't got a structured workflow, nobody else has. So I'm hoping that this video will prove useful to those of you that perhaps feel that their libraries and their catalogues and their whole sort of workflow for getting photos into the computer is a mess. And hopefully this might help, or if it doesn't help exactly, then it might give you some ideas or give you some thoughts about how you can make your workflow a lot better like I am gonna do. It's my first New Year's resolution, 2024. I'm gonna do it with my last catalog for 2020 or my last set of images for 2023. Show you how I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna implement that for the rest of the year going forward. So we are about to jump into the computer and take a look. Okay, so my current process is I would click on import. I would pick my memory card. These are images that I've taken. I haven't even looked at these yet. These are still on the card. They've not even come in. This was a week ago or five or six days ago. Pictures of us going around the Christmas light trail near where we live. So all I would do is down the right hand side here, I would go to my directory. I want to put them in. I would want to put them in a subfolder called Christmas 2023. Um, and there's the subfolder it's going to come into. And then they would import and we would find them all down here under Christmas 2023 as they come in. That will take a few seconds, let's speed that up. Okay, so that once they are in, I then go down to uh, edit swap and iPhone photos from Lightroom. So these are photos that I've taken on my phone at that trip and they've synced automatically through to a folder that I have here. Um, there is a video that I've done on that and I'll link it here if you haven't already seen that. But once they're highlighted, I'm just gonna drag them into Christmas. That's telling me that it's gonna move the files on disk from where they're saved at the moment in the mobile folder to Christmas 2023. And I, that is exactly what I wanna happen. So we had 105. We have, should now have 113 when this move has taken place. 106, this is taking a long time. Ah, it's because it's moving videos as well. That's okay. Okay, so we can now see up here that we have 113 photos. That's 105 on the memory card and eight that were taken with my iPhone that are now merged. The next thing that we need to do is to make sure that they are sorted by capture time, because I do everything chronologically. So this is when we arrived at the walk through the trail down to when we leave at the end. Then I would go through really simply and pick the ones that I'd like, P for pick, X for reject, and I will go through real quick, and a lot of these are just snapshots, handheld, very, very, very dark, so unedited as well. So I would basically just go through them all real quick, and I've got 100 here, I'm not gonna go through them all. Let me just do, so let's pretend that I've gone through them all. Like I say, I'm picking, not even checking them, I'm doing random ones. And there we go. So I now have out of the 113, I've pretended that I've got 52 that I want to keep. Um, I would then go through again and 
edit them a little bit more. I will crop them, straighten them, um, just do basic ones. Make sure that I'm happy with those 50. Reject a few more if I don't think they're up to scratch or they're not ones that I want to keep. And then I'll go through it a third time and edit them properly with exposure, white balance, you know, whatever, all the normal edits that you do, color correcting if you want to do things like that. But that would be about it. I might put a few to Instagram, but I had no process for doing that. I've got no idea what I posted. So if I see a really good image from last month, I might think, I, I can't remember if I posted that to Instagram. So I have to go back to Instagram. I have to work out if I posted it or not. Um, and it all gets a big mess. My aim here is to now simplify all this so that I can send things to Instagram. I know exactly what I've sent to Instagram. I can share it to my online portfolio just for my sort of family life stuff, which I'm using through Adobe portfolio, which I'm going to cover in another video perhaps. And that is really all I would do. So yeah, a mess, but not anymore. We're going to go back to the computer. I am going to just spend a second deleting the images that I've just imported. And I'm going to show you my new super organized 2024 smooth workflow. So the images have been deleted from Lightroom and we are back where we were before we even started this process. So we're going to re-import them using my new super organized 2024 workflow. So I've got a folder already set up here for 2024 and a folder that says template. Now in this template is three other folders. The originals, which is where the raw files are going to go. The final JPEGs, which is where the high res edits are going to go. And social, they're the ones that I pick out that I think I might want to share on social. So all I would normally do is copy this, repaste it, rename it to the name of the event, which will have those three empty folders in. So for now, because we are still working in 2023, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to 2023 and I'm going to paste the item into here. So we have now got template and the three folders. I'm going to rename it now to the month underscore, sorry. Yes, the month underscore the day. And this was on the, what day did we do this trip, this, this visit? Uh, I think it was on the 14th, 15th, 16th, the 8th, I think it was, 08. And we went to Hillier Gardens, okay? I get that now it is gonna be out of date, but when it's in, when they're all in this order, that will be nice and ordered with everything else, because January will say 01, December will say 12. Um, so that's all we need to do in Finder. We're gonna flip back to Lightroom, and we are gonna go to, um, the import, so I also have a memory card in the card reader with the images on. So EOS Digital, these are all the images that are, what was it, 105 of them I think. So we are now gonna to navigate to 2023, Hillier Gardens, Originals. We are gonna make sure there's no subfolder ticked and we are gonna make sure that nothing is renaming. And we are gonna import all of those 105 photos into the Originals folder of Hillier Gardens. So we can see here that we have Hillier Gardens and Originals and those 105 photos are going to come in and we're just going to speed that up while that happens. See you back in a few seconds. So there we are, all 105 images have come into the Originals folder under Hillier Gardens. As before, we are going to come down here to iPhone photos from the Lightroom trip and we are going to highlight all of those and we are going to move those into the originals folder too and we want to move those on disk so that will take a few seconds and we now have 113 photos in here the next thing that we need to do is make sure we're on the originals folder and make sure they are sorted by capture time which will then integrate the iphone photos in time order with my canon photos that's all done um, and then we're going to do a quick rename so Highlight the first one, shift, highlight the last, oh, let's press the right buttons, Richard. Highlight the top one, shift, highlight the bottom one. And we are gonna go to library, rename, and we're just gonna call this Helia Gardens. Oh, not in capitals, we're not. Because I don't like capitals. Helia Gardens. And we're gonna start at a thousand, rename. So the, all these images have now been renamed. You can see them about to change to Hillier Gardens, 1000, 1000, 1000, blah, blah, blah. So the next thing I would do hasn't changed at all. I would do my three passes. I would go through and pick. I would go through and go through them again and just edit, crop a little bit, you know, maybe straighten horizons, make sure that I'm happy with the ones that I've chosen. And the third pass would be to do the proper full edits. Um, I'm not gonna do that now. I'm gonna just cherry pick 10 photos that I'm gonna keep. Um, and I'll show you what happens next. So let's pick, we are, and 
Uh, let's unselect all of these. So we're going to pick one. Uh, that one looks quite nice. Two. Um, I don't know. Uh, this this one maybe. Three. One of the pretty deers. Four. Maybe one of us standing under the arch. Five. Um, something where we had tea. Six. Uh, Max and Suzanne there, seven. Um, what else can we pick? Let's pick one of these freaky light show ones, eight. Uh, let's pick nine. And one final one, this one looks quite, no, nah, which one should we have? Let's go for that one, 10. So we now have 10 that are picked. I'm gonna click on this filter on unflag photos. We can see here that there are 113 that are not selected but what I would normally do is I would reject the ones I don't pick so for the purpose of this we are just gonna reject so we now have 10 that are 10 that are flagged and we have 103 that are rejected so we go back to the flagged ones and I've edited all of these I love them I'm gonna give them all three stars, because I know that three stars are the ones I am now going to highlight out. File, export. I have a preset here called Final JPEG Edits. I am going to choose where we send that to, and that is going to be 2023 Hillier Gardens Final JPEG Edits. Choose. Um, I'm not doing any resizing. These are going out as full JPEGs, and we're going to export. And we're exporting 10 files, as you can see up here in the top left hand corner. And if we come back to here, we can see that in Final JPEG edits, they are exporting and there are 10. Obviously I haven't edited them yet, so bear that in mind. Um, I'm then gonna think, well, which ones do I wanna put out on social? Um, and let's pick, this one's quite nice. This one and one more. Let's pick the funny light show one. So we've got those three. What I'm gonna do with those three is I'm gonna star them as five. So I know that the fives are the ones that I've sent out to social. And if I filter on five, I may crop them. Um, normally I will crop them to something like a five, four ratio because that's like Instagram and Twitter, things like that. They, they like that kind of aspect ratio. For the purpose of this, I'm just gonna export them. Um, and I've got another preset for that, which is file export. And this is called for social. And I just then make sure again, I navigate to 2023 Hillier Gardens social choose and then they are being resized to 2048 on the long edge and that's all I've changed there really from the first setup and we're going to export those and if we go again back to finder we go into social we can see the three that I've chosen have come out to social um, and then I would also go back into library I would go back into keywording and down here I would type in a keyword called social and then I would make sure that social is in all three images. And down here I have for social media, smart workflow. I can now tell that just by clicking on there, I can see I have those images in my smart media, um, my smart collection here. So I can see either in the folder that is social, I can see that I've exported those out, but I've also, if I wanted to click on all the ones that I'd seen in social, if I take the five stars off and take the flag off for now. You can see this is my old workflow, which wasn't very good, but these are ones that I wanna to share to social. The final thing that I would do is I now want these folders here just showing up in Lightroom. So I would come back up to my main folder of Hillier Gardens. At the moment you can see only Originals is there, but I would right mouse click, I would click on Synchronize Folder. It's telling me there's 13, folders, uh, 13 photos to come back in again. I'm gonna synchronize and we will see they're the 13 that are gonna come back in again. We're gonna import them. And beneath Hillier Gardens, we now have three additional folders. We have the original, where I put the original photos, we have the final JPEG edits, and we have the ones I wanna to share to social. And that matches exactly what we have in Finder, because I've just synchronized those folders. Now I know that means that I've got two or three copies of the same image, but they are, one's a raw, one's a full size JPEG, and one is a smaller JPEG for social. So they're all used for different things, and the smaller ones don't take up much storage anyway, so I'm not concerned about that.
Right, so now I wanna share these, these final JPEG edits, I wanna to share to my personal portfolio for family trips and stuff like that. So I come down to, I make sure I'm in the final JPEG edits because I know they're all the ones that I've edited. I highlight them all. I come down to my Adobe My Portfolio website. I go to 2023 and I'm gonna right, right mouse click and I'm gonna create a collection. I'm gonna make sure that it is in the collection set 2023. I'm gonna call this Christmas 2023. And I'm gonna make sure that is syncing with Lightroom and I am going to create that collection. We now have Christmas 2023 with 10 photos in. I'm now gonna head over to Lightroom Cloud because I wanna make sure that that is syncing through and we can see up in the top right hand corner there that it is starting to sync those 10 photos. So if I come over to Lightroom and nothing has come up just yet. So the folder will appear down at the bottom here on the left hand side. Now, the collection sets are not synced into Lightroom, just the album or the folder within that collection, or the collection within that collection set. So we can see here the edit, uh, sorry, that Christmas 2023 has been set up, but it's not in the 2023 folder here. So once these 10 images have imported, oh, we have an update, I didn't see that earlier. We'll have a look at that in a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got four more to come through. Once those four have come through, all I will do is drag, I could probably do it now, drag Christmas into the 2023 section and we've got 10 photos. So to get these onto my website, it's really easy. There's no exporting, there's no importing. Once you're at this stage, you can just ask Adobe Portfolio to talk to your Lightroom and it will bring all those in and give you a, a, a portfolio of that event or of that day or of that trip or whatever it is of that um, season as this is Christmas um, in your portfolio website. So we're gonna head over to Chrome. This is my portfolio website. I am already in the 2023 folder. These are all the trips and days out and the shoots that I've done personally in 2023. We just come over here to here real quick. We're gonna add a page. We are gonna add a Lightroom album. This brings up Lightroom in the cloud, but via the browser. We're gonna click on 2023, here's Christmas. We're gonna import that album. We're gonna to go to where it says pages. For some reason, I think that mine uh, where has it dropped into? It's dropped into the right folder this time, Christmas 2023. Sometimes it drops into portfolio. I think it might depend where your last one came in or what you were looking at at the time or something. I haven't quite figured that out. Um, but basically, we've now got the 10 images under Christmas 2023. I'm just gonna order this because I like it in chronological order. So I'm gonna move Christmas 2023 to the bottom. Christmas 2023, so I want the masthead on. I will add in there um, not in there, I won't. I will add in page info. Normally I just put in the camera that I've used and it's just my R6 and an iPhone, um, sometimes the lens. Um, and then we update the live site. And once that's done, we're gonna come here, we're gonna come to the website as if I am looking at it online and not in the background, not in the editing bit here. This will update in a second that it will say, go back to editor. There we go, back to editor, because I'm now gonna come in here. Um, I'm gonna refresh the 2023 page. And if everything has gone right, we're gonna come down to the bottom and there is my Christmas 2023 album. I haven't exported anything, I haven't imported anything. If I go back to Lightroom, you can see that I've got, I am only using 114 meg of storage out of 100 gig. And that is because I think there are still some of these photos that I don't really need in the cloud. And I will delete those and that will go back down to 19 meg. None of, oh, it's only smart peer reviews that go through to um, the cloud from Classic, as you may or may not know. That's it. A bit jumbled. I know I went through that really quickly, I think. Um, but the key thing is, when I've done all this, I'm gonna have folders in an order that I understand with my originals, with my edited JPEGs, and the ones, the low-res ones that I wanna to share to social media. I can easily put it through to my portfolio, and 2024 will be organized now. Let me know if you've got any questions on any of that. If you want me to go over it again, I can, I'm can. i happy to answer any comments. I get to them as quick as I can. I don't always get to them within a few days, because, you know, life and things like that. Um, but I will answer them, I promise, as soon as I can. 
and let me know if you think you should you'd like me to do a video about adobe portfolio if you're paying for the adobe adobe subscription um, 9.98 19.98 35 pound 50 quid whatever subscription you've got you get this free portfolio this free website to showcase your images it's not a blog it's i don't think it's e-commerce it's nothing like that but if you just want somewhere free that demonstrates good quality photos good quality images adobe portfolio might be for you um, i was using squarespace but it's 150 quid a year um, and there's more you can do with Squarespace, but I don't, I didn't use those things. I just wanted somewhere to put photos out into the world. I decided to go through Adobe Portfolio. So let me know if you want me to do a video on how to set that up and I'll happily do it. I may even do it anyway. Anyway, until the next video, don't forget to click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.